But that's not all. The war in Ukraine, it is also setting into motion the first global energy crisis of its kind. And in a bid to strengthen bilateral cooperation in the energy sector, German and South Korean officials held talks in Qatar with an aim to find alternatives to Russian supply amid disruptions to oil and gas markets caused by the Ukraine war. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani met South Korean Prime Minister Kim Bo Kyum and German Economy Minister Robert Habeck. Russia is the largest supplier of gas to Germany and Berlin has also launched several initiatives to lessen Germany's energy dependence on Russia since its invasion of Ukraine. In the latest, Germany has agreed on a long-term partnership with Qatar to reduce its dependence on Russian gas and also further diversify its energy supply. According to Germany's economy ministry, the next step for German companies would be to enter concrete contract negotiations. Qatar is one of the world's three biggest exporters of liquefied natural gas. European states are also counting on LNG as a means of weaning themselves off Russian gas in the wake of Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. In showing a warning, Germany's economy minister said that if the country does not obtain gas by next winter after it has cut deliveries from Russia, then the country would not have enough gas to heat houses and keep industries running. Berlin has come under criticism for its opposition to an immediate embargo being imposed on Russian energy supplies as a means of choking off major source of Moscow's foreign earnings. However, Germany believes that a boycott could cripple its economy, leading to huge rises in energy prices. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.